Would you like to know more? Fashion free. This is where we get all murdered by a killer can. Charge! Charge! Ramming does 34 damage. If that can't kill something, I don't know what can. 36 damage. Only would, a, would, would what if you're ramming? Oh, what yes. if you? What if you're ramming something larger than you? Than you then? Yeah. Well, it depends, depends on the weight then. Point is, ramming does a lot of damage, and also you'll if you deal the same amount of armor if you're ramming something than you would anyways. So ramming something does not make it harder to do to kill anything. It just gives you a way to do lots of damage. Okay, so, so the last. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're entering the hangar bay. As you can see, it's a, it's a nice large hangar bay. It's a 136 meters across. So not absolutely massive, but yeah. If I do any bigger than that, then the yeah, the squares would be absolutely minuscule. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And as you get in there, there are of course orcs, and you hear the sound of. Wonderful revving of engines. Oh, great orc trucks. Ram mm. them. We also, I just want to mention something. I love that, an, that this ship has pillars in the hangar bay. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Are they not just random chunks of metal that have fallen down and walks just no, have pillars? No, that's what, the, that's what the boxes are. The hexagons are pillars. Uh, Imperial design is fine. Which, oh, look at I look mean, they need all. something to tether the things to. Yeah. Vroom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have a wonderful. This is our. Um... Crackhead, really? Yeah. Crackhead. Yeah. Gray, are you just like walking around your entire like collection and just taking pictures of these? No, <laughs> I'm googling, researching. I don't have any orcs. Oh, uh, you don't have any orcs? No, I don't actually have a 40k army. Oh, that's because the because the actual tabletop games are terrible. Uh, okay. Anyway, the actual tradition. war game part of 40k is absolutely shit. Yes, I play drop zone, and drop fleets, and then historicals. Okay. Right, so anyway. I take it like the other, the other three are going to our right, and are dealing with all the orcs up there. Yeah, we're just going. Follow us, aren't they? Where the doses? No, they're going to deal with rocks because this is a big bay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes of course. <laughs> this bay is massive. Sort of Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I scale is wow. Do we actually have backup that's actually gonna do anything for this gray or are we on our nope. own again? You're on your own against these guys. <laughs> they go and take the rest of three quarters of the whole population within this uh, Wait a minute. Were we the first ones through the door? Yes. Yes, yep. we were. Late screw late screwed a uh, the the command pooch. No, not the command uh, pooch. So, if you'd like to roll some initiative. Right on. Okay, let's see. I don't think I've ever rolled anything but an eight for initiative. Yay! Backhead driver. Uh, apparently my war bikes are. Oh right. wow, look at that initiative. <laughs> well, yeah, they're war bikes. They're designed to be. Well, that guy's not. So we have a shooter boy, two shooter boys, and we have a Gretchen horde. Here we go. Two, two Gretchen hordes. <laughs> a slugger boy. I'm guessing they can give command. They give commands on. Um, that. Come back on. There we go. So. Uh, Dussel, are you on the are you on the auto cannon? Hmm? I think Dussel should jump off and just basically use her heavy use her own heavy gun. Let someone else use the, the auto cannon. Is not using the auto cannon, or is she jump gonna is she gonna use the jump off and use her multi -dice? I don't. Know or is off she gonna this. grab the catapult and start using that? I don't know. I, I love my multi -dice. I was wondering exactly what we're gonna do with a catapult. How we're gonna use that? I mean, I have some special bonuses for my multi laser, so I was thinking I'm just gonna stand on, sit on top of the Chimera, and shoot. Like, yeah. no, don't waste any movement points. Just, just aim and shoot. I think the catapult is basically a a, a crude mind thrower. 
I, I mean, we it. have uh, our DT and Pius. Both can uh, probably use it. Yes, Pius Leviticus Pius could. Uh, the Pius can do it. Uh, Pius Leviticus Pius, the Pius can use it. Yes. Is this going to oh. be a thing? Because I really don't want it to be a thing. <laughs> it's stopping it, it is totally a thing. I'm only sticking with Pius Leviticus Pius. The Pius will just annoy you. So, Teddy. Hmm. What about this bike? You're well within short range. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna. Can I actually? Uh, is the crackhead bike uh, crack? Uh, uh, this guy riding on the buggy actually is over... visible? Yes. So you can target. They're, they're open. So a cord shot would allow you to target them, but it's a minus ten to hit because of the smoke they're producing. Okay, so I'm not going to use it this round. Also the cold shot penalty. Yeah, and the, and the cold so, shot. You know what? We know what? I'm going to shoot the slugger boy. I'm going to shoot the slugger boy. Why? They're at like the bottom of how? the How? And also how? I'm standing on top of the... Uh, I'm actually on top of the camera. I should yeah, but there's the also the huts in front of you. I recommend not standing, I recommend sitting and bracing, because it might get a bit hairy. I don't actually need to brace, I have bulging bison. As in, uh, he means it. brace so you don't go flying off when he has to make it. Uh, so I'm thinking... Okay, maybe I can take a cold shot, that's a minus 10, wasn't it? Minus mm -hmm. 10 and minus 20. Minus 10 for smoke, minus 20 for cold shot. You know what, I'm just going to use the catapult on the Gretchen Hordes and the Thugger Boys and everything. Uh, you could only see Gretchen Horde too from where you are. It's going to be a big explosion. So, uh, I'm going to try that one. I'm going to go okay. for that. Obviously. I mean, true, oh, these catapults, yeah. how many have how many... Uh, these these cartridges have how many uh, uh, melta shots in them per... It's an entire melta cartridge. Depends yeah. on which size... It's for, right? I think there's like 64 melter people. I'm not sure. Basically, there's a lot of melter. There's a lot of fire gonna be happening, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna use the catapult. So, what, uh, what is that gonna be, Gray? What, what's what, the um, target? The, what's we gonna the, have to roll to use our makeshift catapult? Um, ballistic skill. Pure? We should have made it a ballista. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time. it's gonna be ballista. We have parts. I mean, yeah, ballistic skill probably minus ten uh, because it's an improvised weapon. Uh, that gives me a thirty-five. But if I take a minus twenty on a cold shot, I can actually shoot at a fifty-five against the buggy. No, you can't see the buggy. The buggy oh, okay. is the buggy is all the way over here, man. So <laughs> I, I guess then it's just gonna be a attempt at the catapult. Yeah. Uh, also, um, it. it's either five, three, or twelve shots that each of those canisters holds. We'll call it five for average. Okay, so that's each of those does two d ten plus ten pen twelve. Each shot. Like they so eat, that is one melt a shot's worth of damage, and we got so, them in those canisters. I know, but I think the best thing we could probably do is make it is just say it has blast for when it where it, where it hits. I'm pretty sure we made it to have blast. It's yeah, explosive. that's that's the thing is we're using it as an improvised explosive. The so melt, the normal melt a shot, but it has blast. Yeah. Okay then. Let's that's see. Um, also scattered. Also. How, how much scattered. blast though? That's the question. Uh, blast hmm. three. Two, two degrees of failure. That uh, that gives us a scatter of what? Uh, uh, it's a scatter of roll one d ten. One second. Uh, right. Nine. That scatters to the bottom right relative. Back right. Yeah. It's actually, back I think, right, yeah. be back right. So, and then front, roll one d five to see how far. Okay, one d ten divided by two. There is a one d five available. Oh, yeah, but I just rolled it. 
Uh, that uh, gives us a two meter scatter. All right. Still within blast. Yep. Yeah, it actually goes between the two holes, in front of the two holes by... Which horde were you shooting at? You could only uh, see two. two. So, two. no, you still only hit Gretchen Horde so it, two. So, it, it, it kind of goes about... No, uh, you, you rolled a nine. The scatter diagram says that goes to the south. No, it's Sorry, I should have... Is but is that compared compared to the view, view to my viewpoint yeah, or on I, the map? The map. I don't actually know how you calculate scatter. Is it relative to you or is it relative it's, to the map? I, I think it should be relative to to the player. No, it's, it's always, always been relative to the map. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, so it goes so it goes down here. So. Yeah. I think down. actually no, they're hordes. So yeah. Let's have a. Look. I'm just seeing yeah, what the scattering. Actually, here. wait a minute. Were you aiming for the center of the horde? I mean, of course. That means it's one closer diagonal. So it's here, and now it depends on how much is the blast radius. Is blast three? Didn't you say? I think so. Yeah. So if how I much is that? Three, three meters. Yep. Yeah, three meters. Here it is. I'm covering at least two thirds of the hole. Yep, so... The thing you have to bodge when you don't have rules for him, because no one in the history of this game has ever fucking done it. So oh. much. They just didn't write it down. Probably because they wow. died. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a good success. Yeah. Was, oh, like... damn it. I closed the map. Dodgy motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, uh, Gray, I'm sorry, I, I closed the big map. You can reopen it. Reopen it in images. There you go, I saw that stuff. It does actually say. I've always done it by, by the map. Well, it makes more sense for it to be relative to you. Yeah. Because, there's, because the 9, 0, and 6, 7s go back towards you. Which is how you want things to be if you want most chance of catching yourself in your blast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always assumed it was going to be relative because target because it says target. The... But we've done it for now, so we're just going to treat yeah. it for in the future. We're going to scatter relative to you. But for yeah, now, for now we'll do it that way. Okay. This so would be the point what... where I yell at Fantasy Flight and tell them to fix their shit. But it's not their job anymore. <laughs> All right, Cracker's driver. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't put crack. I didn't put the. Uh, Vehicle stats in there. Oops. Oh, is he, is okay. he, is he oh. huh? The vehicle stats are in Crackhead, not Crackhead's driver. Cause, <laughs> he, can, he can move 18 meters. Is that single or that's double? Co that's combat speed. Okay, so we can do that and shoot. That's that dangerous. Yeah, although we can't see anything, so he's probably going to um, double move up to about here. Well, I guess he does see the giant pool of plasma, the yeah. melter, which just there. And he's veers out of the way. <laughs> Warbite 1. Also quite fast. Speed 75. <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear you right? Speed 75. That's what it says. I'm just going to double check the book for that one. Wait, is that his tactical speed? 75 meters? No, tactical speed's 18. I've taken... Um... Okay, because that was a bit excessive. I was about to say, there's tactical... Some orc. There's no such thing as excessive. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Look, I don't give a shit how red his bike is. He ain't going 75 <laughs> meters in 6 seconds. It's so red, Corn is jealous. Actually, are turns in only will explicitly timed? Are they 5 seconds or whatever? Or... I believe it is 6 seconds, yeah. Alright, these Gretchen's gonna move up and they're gonna target the only guy they can see who's got any chance of shooting. Just me. Yep. Okay, so, volley fire. Oui. There's a group of ten of them. I'm also behind the turret, so... Yeah, I'll give you, give you a couple for that. And he's, what, 20? Is 30 meters away? Yes. 
I don't know what the Gretchens are using, but that's got to be at least not short range. Gretchens are using slugger pistols, which is 20. So they're in normal range. They're in medium. So, Unix Drenna. Okay, so a round is approximately five seconds long, regardless of how many characters are involved. Uh huh. Huh. Point still stands 75 in five seconds, way too fucking fast. Meh. Right. Or how about putting arbitrary time restrictions on it on a uh, event? Seems a bit too arbitrary. Well, the basic idea is all of this is happening at the same time. Oh, plus 50 because it's a volley, yeah? Yep. 3 degrees. Okay, so you get hit three times. Goes yes. right leg, right leg, body, I believe. Yep. That's right, I should so set two of those shots uh, are stop at the yep. end of the turret, and that means the body shot, yeah? Yep, basically. Okay, soak 10. Um. Seven. You get, you get winged in the, in, in the gut, you get a nice Stallone scar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, close to where the carapace plates meet one another, there's a... Of course, the other mesh, so I have a nice uh, bruise there. You got ten, ten gobbos firing at you, one of them just like nicks you slightly. It's not too bad. It's volume of fire. Awesome. I remember what happened to the, the the tech priest when he got shot by an entire mob. That sounds like orcs. That sounds like orcs to me. Ten of them shoot, one of them hits, does no damage. Right, they have, yeah, they have you have the auto cannon. I have shit for ballistic skill, so is it possible I can drop myself down the initiative until we drive, clo drive closer? Uh, it's an auto cannon. You're in short range if you're under 75 meters from it. Oh. Just, I was going to use the, I was going to use a flamer, but okay. All right, I'll use my flamer. Can be used later. If you want worry. to halt your initiative until after me, you are allowed to do that. I shall do that. There are better people who are better at shooting. Okay, you drop down to eight. I didn't have eight, I'm just behind the other guy now. Go on talk. Go straight through them. Cantankerous the shit out of this. Broom. Ooh, I, I just realized I'm the only person here who reads the Battletech thread, so I know yeah. I got that. Uh, this, this, this is gonna remind me of Kelly's Heroes, the train station scene. I do have enough range to charge Gretchen Horde to ram Gretchen Horde 1. So what's stopping you? Nothing. Absolutely. That's what. Absolutely bugger all. <laughs> yeah. Except they ex except for some reason goblins like to put mines in their own play in their own uh hangar bay for no reason. That depends. Are there? Don't give Grey's ideas. <laughs> wow. Well, they can dodge a melter, they cannot dodge a tank. Yeah, well, the melee that they are, it was slowly, it was a slower <laughs> shot. I do need to make a test first, because that's right, I make an off-right test to hit them. Turns out they're driving very far. Ooh, it's ooh, not. Ooh. <laughs> Can you fake point that? I think I might. It's not bad enough I lose control, but that's a pretty bad roll. I'll pretty Aaron. I mean, it? please don't accidentally shift to reverse while you're going in third gear. Yeah, you don't want to be Richard Hammond. There you go. Beautiful. 36 plus 1 plus 1 damage. <laughs> do you even bro? Yes, yes you do. Oh, for an extra 1d10 damage for every 10 additional meters moved. So I get another 2d10. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you jumped the last guy even harder. Yep. Roll those dice. I, I want to see. And wanna the see better it. thing, and the better thing is, we have a clump of people, so we do have. The can flamer. I use? It? Yes, we do have the flamer. Can I, I'm going to be using the flamer since that doesn't require uh, ballistic skill, and that goes within my, you know, knob the doesn't, doesn't park uh, dips the flamer. Is no. It, it is? No. I've. I don't have a dips on it. I can't. Isn't Tark the one driving? <laughs> Yeah, it's just that uh, 
isn't that in front of you somewhere? Like that means that the priest is you know, in front of you. There's a button I can reach to hit the flavor, but it's not only I can use that. Other people can sit next to me and hit it. All right. So, damage. 3d10 plus th plus 36. So technically this is only supposed to be able to kill one guy, but... Considering that was a race... <laughs> I think that was the wrong modifier. <laughs> no, no, what are you talking about? That was perfect. <laughs> that, that's the culminus of damage to every single glitch in the hole. That is exactly 50. Can we, can we take the first one? Yeah, we take the first one, it's yeah. fine. Okay, so exactly. Plus there a range of fury, in that port, but I is don't not. think a horde gets crits, so... Also, no. technically, if any technically, all Gretchens get, fro get flown 50 meters from the vehicle. Because they take... Oh no, not 50 meters, 50 meters, so... For every point of damage to ramming figure horn six, it also, mo it also moves its target one meter. Do you thought no, you... Are you chiseling or something? I was keep hearing this metallic like thing. I, I'm sorry. I was I was just eating the last one. I just Wait. had it's a pet this moment. Wait, anyway. so you're eating nuts and bolts? Ice cream. Uh, oh, it's a just oh, it's a spoon, right? It just sounds like uh, you're chipping away at metal, at a, a rock or something. Anyway, I guess that kills like... four guys. <laughs> Only four out of five out of ten. Okay, five. You ran half of them over, it's fine. Ten wounds each? Jesus Christ, these things are more um, double than half of this Yeah, one. Well, what it's supposed to, but in rules as written, you're only supposed to kill one. <laughs> <laughs> but they did fail, so... Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically making it a bit more realistic and give you one for every ten. And also, <laughs> we'd still kill the entire group at once if we just hit the flame, if we got them in Flamer. Yeah. Well, we do so, have, we do have another group. Flamer. Uh, how, Flamer's like 15 meters, right? 15 meters in a 30 degree arc from the front. So, does this look right? Or is it a 30 degree arc in the front? Yeah, 30 degree arc from the front. I'm just going to move my. Closer to 45, you've got marked there. Yeah. It's a good thing that Fancy Grants has angle measuring tools. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> does it... Do they? No. <laughs> that's the just... Alright, so it's, it's an angle in front here, so I need to go and. Yeah, one second, thing. I'm trying to grab, find a decent 30 degree arc on the internet. Just like the two line. Also, don't forget, it, you don't need to roll an attack test. Yeah, they're just rolling agility in order to avoid it, yeah? To either yeah. get behind cover if they're within meters of it, or to get out of the flame whatsoever. Or to get so, wait, uh, uh, so, it, is, uh, it is, you just used the flamer? No, no. he used his, his hard shot. Oh, yeah, okay, so I got. I, I did uh, semi auto, so I got three hits. So, how do. Why do they hit? I believe it is left, left body. It makes left no arm. difference. Left arm body. That's the boy one. It's always the location you hit twice and then something else, but I can never remember if it's always body or not. It tends, it, it tends to track to body, I think. Slugger boy. Nice. Slugger boy's not looking healthy. Slugger boy's. <laughs> yeah. boy not looking healthy at all. Crit five. And now it's Pius' turn. Alright, Pius is going to use the flamer on the uh, thing. One I second. think I got the arc. Is the arc right here? I'm pretty sure you can hit both hordes. Where's, where's that gone? Just it's just it. an orc out of the front of the flamer. So if the other horde is basically to the sides of the Chimera, they won't get hit. Oh. Or essentially... Oh, you have her there? So I think you hit Gretchen Horde 2 and Warblike 1, maybe? Like, you can't turn it. I'm the only one who does. And we're coming... No, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to unturn it back to staying straight, but I'm grabbing yeah. another thing. Here we go. Okay. Now we're good. So it's kind of like that. So it's like, like that, but inverted. Yeah. Isn't there a flip token button? I think. Okay, real quick, Ray. Does this look like the same, the same, same side of that? Oh, that's like here to here. So it'll be like this then. 
Oh. So I've got here, and that this right is here. Right here. 